to the video here guys i know you guys are pumped to see this video as you guys already know by the title of the video we got the 450 steed my kx 450 um supermoto build if you guys haven't already seen the first build build video on this thing make sure you guys go check it out anyways finally this is going to be the uh the part two video to the 450 build so i'm super stoked to finally finish this thing up and uh, yeah, I give you guys a rundown of what I've done so far. But if you haven't seen part one, go through my YouTube channel. You guys can find it if you guys want to see the first uh, like part one build series of this 450. And otherwise, this is part two, finally getting around to finish it. And I finally, finally got all the parts in to finish it. There wasn't really much needed to finish it. Um, if you guys saw in the first, in the part one, I got the whole street legal kit installed on it with the brake light and the headlight as well as the mirror. And if you guys don't remember on the mirrors, the old like dorky mirrors that I bought that I thought they'd look better, you guys are right. Like I knew they looked totally trash. So I just uh, run that one mirror that came with the Tusk kit. And um, yeah, other than that, I've been kind of running the uh, <laughs> the Enduro uh, tread on the stock wheel set. And uh, yeah, you get no traction whatsoever. So uh, didn't end up filming it, but uh, Wood Cycle Country in New Braunfels, they uh, hooked it up with the graphics for the 450. And uh, yeah, just this stock decor graphics kit. And the uh, Warp 9 wheels that I was talking about in the last video, which is like the whole thing to totally tie this whole like bike build up and everything is the Warp 9 17 inch front and rear, street bike tires and wheels. Finally got them ordered, finally got them coming in. So yeah, give you guys a clip of these in a second. They turned out super sick. <laughs> We're buying in the best KX450 Supermoto on the internet right now. I don't think there's a cleaner KX450 Supermoto on the internet. I'll let you guys decide in the comments, but uh, yeah, get this thing outside, clean it all up. Anyways, this thing isn't that dirty. I just wanted to uh, like wash it all up, get some of this little road grime stuff that's out on the pipe and stuff all washed up. So I throw the wheels on, tires will look so sick. This thing should turn out so sick. Uh, we got the Pro Circuit T6. This thing, should... if you guys don't like it, hit this thumbs down video and don't watch my videos. I really don't care because uh, I like the way it looks. It's the way it's the look I'm going for. But uh, if you guys don't like it, just go build your own bikes. I could honestly, I don't give a Well, my uh, tripod stand broke, so we're just gonna have to film the whole wash of the iPhone. That's sick. This thing's all washed up, looking all fresh. Pretty clean. 450, baby. YouTube, welcome back to the video here. You guys can see it's the next day here. Got all the wheels, or all the wheels, both wheels taken off the 450 right now. Um, this is the stock wheel that I'm getting changed out for that other tire I got. So I'm gonna get this one changed out so I can throw a swap between the 250 and on this wheel. And then, uh, yeah, finally got the Warp 9s in, not sponsored. These are just the best wheels money can buy. <laughs> and these things turned out so sick. So I'm gonna get these thrown on the bike. Get a little edit for you guys, but uh, yeah, 17. Coming at you with the chest cam here on the Supermoto. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me all right. I'm gonna stop here real quick. Um, currently about seven weeks post um, double front flip onto my back. So uh, yeah, don't expect any crazy GoPro footage right now. I'm just, uh, I've gotten to the point now where I can just about cruise around on my Supermoto here. So uh, I'm just gonna go around the street real quick. And uh, yeah, pain is slowly subsiding, but it's been about seven weeks and I can just now do this, but I can't really do any wheelies or ride super hard yet. Cause once I ride for a couple minutes, my back starts to hurt. But uh, yeah, these uh, these tires should be so much better than the uh, the dirt tires. I've already kind of ridden around a little bit and they're so much more better, so much more smoother. I do some wheelies for you guys so bad, but just not ready for it, unfortunately.
right, YouTube. This one is for my long haired viewers out there. For those who don't have long hair, you probably won't understand this, but if you have long hair, hoodies are like a super big pain to wear because of like the hoodie part, it all gets like messed up with your hair. That's why like sweatshirts are like key for like long hair and stuff. I'm about to you guys, show you guys the trick right now. The full custom hoodie build going down right now in the shop. Stay tuned. All right, step one, get yourself a hoodie. I have a Kawasaki hoodie here. And uh, step two, you're gonna get yourself some scissors and you're gonna cut the hoodie off. I don't know if I can do this one handed here, but you're gonna wanna cut really precisely along the hoodie line, just like that. There you go. Once you have the hoodie part, cut out a sweatshirt, fully custom, tag and everything, fresh brand new sweatshirt, ready to rip. Just like that, you got a fresh, fresh sweatshirt. No hoodie, you can check that thing out in the back. Super fresh. <laughs> there you go, that's our dope sweatshirt you can wear. Anyways, but that's about it for the 450 build. The thing's pretty much complete, which I, uh, everything I wanted to do to it. Supermoto wheels and tires, pro circuit pipes, street legal kit, some graphics some handlebar stuff and yeah other than that ready to rip i'm gonna make a vlog with it here soon full gopro footage just like the regular supermoto vlogs and uh yeah so be stay tuned it's gonna be super sick gonna get into some stuff i already have like a cool jump i have planned for this thing do some urban with it should be so sick anyways make sure you guys subscribe if you were hyped to see this video i know this one was a long one in the making the warp nines just took like a long time to get in i was hoping i would add this video out like months ago so I just kind of sat on it for a while, but uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share with your friends. You want to see more videos for my dirt bike viewers. I made, I know this video may not have been for your appetite. Dirt bike videos to come, especially when I get fully healed up. So make sure you guys, like I said, like, subscribe, share with your friends, drop a comment. If you, what kind of other videos you guys want to see, I'm going to drop a full supermoto vlog, like I said, and this thing should be pretty sick. I'm about to get right back to riding here soon. I got a, uh, Bell Moto 10 on order, so that thing should be pretty sick, and a couple other things that I broke from my crash, some uh, stuff for the bikes. But uh, yeah, should be able to ready rip here pretty soon. I'll be making a bunch of dirt bike content for you guys.